Hey guys, Sonda here doing another audio commentary. And yeah, today I'm going to bring you game two between Light and Jengbi. This is some OSL action, and the winner of this will advance to the round of 32. So this is um, the winner of these three games. Yeah, actually, Jengbi up 1-0 to zero after his late, late game just pretty much destroyed Light, to say the least. Jengbi's such a strong PVT late game um, that he really didn't have a problem with that game. So yeah, this will be played on... Let's see. Hold on. I just went blank. Sorry. Return of the King. I was thinking Plasma, but that was game one. Yeah, so this will be played on Return of the King. So, this is a... F um, so, yeah, this is... I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, what I think both players need to do, I think Jengbi needs to take it into long game and play confidently in long game. And then I need, think um, Light really needs to try to avoid late game. On the right is Jengbi, and on the left is Light. Light being the Terran player and Jengbi being the Protoss player. Jengbi, a very strong PvT player, but Light, uh, over 50% TVP, so that's not a bad number at all. That is actually fairly good. So anything above 50% is considered very good at this level, just because um, the competition is so great. So yeah, this game is underway, so we have Light spawning up in the top right corner, the 2 o'clock position, the purple Terran, and then we have Jengbi spawning at the 7 o'clock bottom left corner in the red Protoss, and yeah, so the red Protoss color matching his headphones again, and that is my corny joke of the day. Anyways, yeah, so I'm pretty excited about this, interested to see what kind of builds players uh, the, the players do this game and what kind of late game tech especially Jengbi does because I'm I'm in love with Protoss <laughs> anyway so actually last time it went carriers and that's all I'll say because hopefully you watch that game before this because this is game two but I will try not to spoil that so yeah all right anyways we're gonna see here um, what both players decide to do light uh, played very um, convincingly against Violet, the Protoss player, and beat him, and now is against Jengbi, but is down 0 to 1 versus Jengbi. So, this is not a great situation for him, but he still is in a complete um, lead. And so, yeah, uh, sorry about that. I can't read this. And I, yeah, that really looks like a Yahtzee card, but I don't think that's a Yahtzee card. I didn't know Koreans played the Yahtzees, but yeah, I don't think that's a Yahtzee card. I think that's just um, some kind of pamphlet or whatever. I'm not exactly sure. So, yeah, um, Let's talk a little bit about each player and how they've been doing uh, performing uh, lightly lately. Lightly, see the light really screwed me up on that. And anyways, a stupid name can't, can't pronounce lately anymore. So yeah, and wow, he is going for a twelve nexus. So this is oh wow, I do not know how smart of a choice this is. This is some Jengbi going for the twelve nexus. So this could absolutely turn out to be a long game and he will reap his benefits from that and then um, I feel uh, feel he'll win that but I, I also feel this could be a big mistake just because um, light could easily do a timing push and wipe out Jengbi I don't feel this is the smartest move though at all though Jengbi trusts his late game why doesn't he do his normal build here and make it go into his late game and then win late game and maybe, or be really aggressive because he's up one game to zero and throw some cheese. But to go for a 12 Nexus, that just seems really risky. And um, I'm really questioning his decision making here. I don't know how smart of a choice this is going to be. And it does look like one Marine will be popping out. It's really just going to be how fast the scout gets here. So the SCV will be getting to Jengbi's base very shortly. And I am very interested to see how light will read or how when he sees this what he'll immediately do and what kind of tech he'll be going for does he go for a timing push or does he do something even crazier obviously seen the 14 nexus by now cybernex score finally going out jengbi wow if he can read these benefits if this game if um does uh, as a as light does he match this expansion or does he um but I wouldn't match in TVP. I'd just do some kind of timing push. Marines on the way, though. And, wow, we could be seeing a very aggressive opening here from Light after he sees 
or after he saw the 14 Nexus, nothing even to take care of that scouting SCV. So Changbi, wow, Marines are pushing across the map, so I'm interested to see if he's going to go in for, oh, an SCV, so we are going to be seeing a bunker rush, and wow, this could absolutely be devastating for Jangbi. it's going to come, come all down to micro, so here we go, Jangbi knows it's coming, probably, yes, his probe is there, so he knows this is coming, so he has the extra 10 seconds to prepare for it, which is going to be such a, so key, so I'm very interested to see if he's going to hold this off, bunker is going up outside the natural expansion, if Jangbi loses his natural, then he's going to be so far behind, it's going to be very hard to come back, Zealot, if he can pick off that SCV and slow this bunker down, probe's coming off the line, which he needs to do, the bunker is uh, stopped in the middle of his making, but oh, a nice, nice surround almost there. Almost picks off the Zealot, and now another surround, and this looks like this Zealot will fall. So Jangbi in a lot of trouble here. Three Marines and SCVs, and he doesn't have anything to deal with it at the moment. He, Zealots will be popping out shortly, but he does pick off one Marine with the surround. Actually picks off two Marines, it looks like, with the surround. Dragoons are out, so maybe Jangbi will be able to hold this off here. But a vulture is out, so it's all going to come down to he needs to, Jangby really needs to be very smart with these dragons. Cannot lose goons to these mines here. Trying to get his, oh, trying to get his bunker all the way up, and the bunker looks like it is complete here. Marines piling into the bunker, and now, wow, so, uh, but uh, while this is all happening, Light is losing a lot of SCVs. Vulture almost going down here. Oh, wow, one hit on the vulture, and wow, he does pick off the vulture, so that helps. But, um,. So yeah, Jangby might actually look like he might be able to hold this off here. Just more Marines, but Marines in the bunker. And this Nexus is under heavy fire. SCV's out there. Balter and Marine on the way. And Jangby actually could be finding himself in a lot of trouble here. Um, more goons popping out. Jangby needs to be very smart with these goons. And he can hold this off. He will, oh, getting out of the range, beautifully done right there by Jangby. But Vulture's laying mines, and uh, wow, Jangby needs to be very smart with these dragoons. He cannot lose these goons to mines, or it's absolutely going to be devastating for him. Repairing this, repairing this bug, and he lays a mine, and oh my gosh, oh, oh, both goons falling to the ground. And Jangby could be in a lot of trouble here after losing those two goons. Beautifully played by Light here, Light with a very aggressive opening after seeing